Hi everybody, I wanted to do a quick video about what DMZ is all about, kind of how do you play it, um, is it worth playing as well? And first thing I have to say is DMZ is absolutely worth playing, it's absolutely worth having a few goes at it, having a few successful extractions to kind of get the feel of the game. Now what is DMZ? DMZ is an open world Call of Duty game kind of. Um, imagine um, playing a single player or a co-op mission uh, for Call of Duty, like from the campaign, uh, on a really big level, you know, on a level that's as big as the War Zone map, um, where in that mission you can choose what objectives you have to do or you want to do, um, and you can mix and match objectives as you're going through it. And uh, your enemies on that map are AI and a scattering of a few uh, real players. Not many, but, but just a few. And you can play this mission by yourself or with teammates. Um, kind of a bit, imagine like a, if you've ever played Sniper Elite sort of um, 3 or 4 or 5, where you've got this really big level and you can choose the order that you want to do it in. Or imagine, uh, say... Um, a series of Call of Duty missions, single player missions from the cam campaign, but all stuck together on the same map where you can do do different things. Um, and the objective is to go into the era, area, Al Almazra or the exclusion zone, do those objectives, explore, pick up weapons, pick up money, um, engage enemy IA, engage enemy players, but you have to extract before the timer runs out, otherwise the radiation comes in. And it's not like a circle, it's not like um, Battle Royale. Um, it, it does spread, but there is, you're not being squeezed into one place, so you do not have to fight PvP in this game. In fact, I've only ever come across, I've played it about six or seven times now, and I've only ever come across a couple of um, uh, real players, and the rest are enemy AI, but I will say the enemy AI are a challenge, especially if you're playing solo like I am. Now, if you do choose to play solo, you'll still be going into the game against squads, and trios, or I, th I think it's trios or, or duos and solos that can go in. But don't worry, um, the beauty I think of DMZ is you can play it how you want to play it. So if you're playing solo, you can play stealthily, you know, you can avoid a game engaging the enemy AI. I mean, sometimes you, you just have to, to to complete your objective. But it's really cool going around this Call of Duty world in a way a bit like PUBG. Or even something like DayZ, because you're in this big open world, you've got half an hour to kind of explore and do the objectives. Now, the, the other mechanic on it is that there's insta-death. So if you die, so if you go down, especially if you're playing solo, if you go down and you don't have a self-revive, that's it, you're dead. Obviously, if you're teammates, they, they can re revive you and you come out. And you lose anything that you've got on you or that you've found in the zone. So the idea is, is to go in... Um, complete objectives, get money, and then you can use that money to buy things like keys, or you'll find stuff doing objectives that you can then take out of the game, that you can then bring back into the game for the next run that you do. Let me kind of explain. So, this is obviously the uh, the main menu. But if we go into my weapons section, um, you can see here that I've got um, this green slot is my insured slot. So, whichever weapon I put in here. And I take into the the uh, Almazra, uh, the DMZ. I I won't lose it. All that happens if if I die while I'm using this weapon, there will then be a cooldown on that, so I won't be able to use it for another hour or so. And I'll have to use one of the weapons that I've um, brought back out of the D uh, out of the DMZ when I've had a successful extraction. So I can take these in. You could even go in empty-handed if you want, and just find guns and take them out. Um, or obviously you can take the risk of taking in some, some really powerful guns. Um, so here for example, you know, I'm going in with a 74U uh, submachine gun uh, or assault rifle and the EBR-14 DMR which is really powerful. Heartbeat tends to see enemy eye, lethal C4, I'm not very good with the C4 so let's change that to the frag grenade and I can choose to take in a, uh, let's take in a munitions box. And then you can see up at the top we've got armor carrier and gas, gas mask. So these are the ones that I've found. So you'll start off with a single plate carrier, but you may well find a double plate carrier. There might even be a triple plate carrier. And you'll keep that until you die with it on. So that's why you've got to try and stay alive. 
Um, now, because I've got a large backpack, I could take a third weapon in as well, like a, I don't know, a sniper rifle or something. And this is the really clever bit, the keys. So as you're going around, you'll find keys to um, strong points and, and hidden areas on the map. Or you can buy them from... Um, you can buy them from buy stations and these will then give you access to uh, objectives so let me give you an example so um, it's all about the missions really that you can you, you can be given missions before you go in so you can choose them like you can here or you can pick up contracts while you're in the game a bit like you could in can in warzone so you can pick up you know uh, one that says um, find this hard drive and then upload the information um, find uh, what other ones that I had um, activate a UAV uh, tower um, what the things did we have to do oh find the radioactive elements you know, so, so generally it's taking you from one place to the map to the next place to the map, the next place but you've also got these faction ones so the one I should be working on at the moment but I keep on getting distracted is Storm the Stronghold so what I need to do is get a Stronghold key card. so I'm probably going to buy one of those from the shop but they're quite expensive so I need to do missions in the game in order to get enough money to buy the stronghold key card ki kill all the enemies in the uh, uh, stronghold and then extract stay alive <laughs> you've got to stay alive and extract with that on a helicopter and basically what happens at the end is you can either you can go to an extraction early you could literally spawn in go to an extraction point and come out again straight away if you wanted to or as long as it's before the half an hour is up you can um find uh, one of the extraction points it's normally looks like a blue blue smoke uh, flare on the ground and it uh, activate the extraction now I'm not quite sure if it's working quite right at the moment because what seems to happen is that sometimes the extraction points aren't listed on the map when you go in to look at your map it's not there but you'll come across these smokes so when you're driving or running or, or in the boat going from one place to the next to find um, an extraction keep an eye out for that blue smoke because if you see it that will be an extraction point that you can use and I think this is an amazing mode honestly it really is so much fun um, it's especially great for people who really enjoy the mod, uh, Call of Duty campaign it's really good for people who maybe enjoy um, playing Warzone but get a bit pissed off you know you, you play for 20 minutes and then you get killed you know where this you can stay alive you don't have to be aggressive at all it's really good for players who maybe aren't that good against um, um, real players you know and you find multiplayer or even warzone you know a little bit sweaty and you want to play something different and this is really good and this does have um, you know some fantastic um, tense moments as well you know you'll, you'll go to a buy point and all of a sudden there'll be enemies the enemies attacking you and you're running out of armor plates or you're running out of time and you're trying to get an extraction point um, or the helicopters, extraction helicopters coming in, and you're trying, and you know, a load of enemies turn up, and you're like, oh my gosh. Um, I would watch out for, I think it, you're obviously at a big disadvantage when you're going in solo, because the problem with going in solo is sometimes you'll do a mission, and it'll be, I had one where I was in a boat, and the uh, AI called in an attack helicopter against me. Now, the boat did have a machine gun on it, but because I was by myself, I couldn't operate the machine gun and drive at the same time. And so, you know, so it finished me off pretty quick. I think you, you're going to have a lot of fun playing with friends, um, but playing solo, I've had a, a real good time playing solo. Um, really, really good. So, Warzone DMZ, you should definitely check it out. And again, don't just play one game because you'll probably get a bit hacked off. Uh, oh, I should say it's really good for farming XP as well. You get loads of XP for your weapons. You can take any weapon in. Um, but don't just play one game. Play a few games where you get at least a couple of successful extractions. And then you get the feel of it. And I think um, uh, Call of Duty with um, um, Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, um, they've really hit on a, a cool idea here. I enjoy this much more than um, the, uh, the alternative mode from Warzone 1, which was... That, that was the uh, where you had to get the money wasn't it um, so yeah so Warzone DMZ definitely check it out it's great fun I enjoy it immensely um, oh and one other thing I should say is if you get weapons I think if you find blueprints in Exclusion Zone in DMZ you then have them uh, you can then unlock weapons in the main Warzone game so for example if you don't own Modern Warfare 2 and you haven't been wa working through it then this is the way to do that anyway that's enough of me um, I will I uh, will uh, leave you at that. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more, say, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.